All right, good day. <clears throat> Today I'm going to present you a little product that uh, for those people who are going uh, for camping, uh, it's actually pretty useful, and it's uh, a teapot. They call that for the simple reason that it uses those uh, little tea light, tea candle that lasts for about four hours, and <clears throat> I have it uh, already preheated. Because uh, the 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 heat the preheat time takes a couple of minutes, and I didn't want to waste too much of your time. And what it is, it is technically a thermoelectric generator. So this is the first version they made. They've actually made out some more powerful one, and uh, <clears throat> more advanced, and probably produce more uh, energy than this one. But uh, for about fifty dollar US and uh, well let's not include the shipping but there there it is <clears throat> what it produce at the output which is right there uh, no load at the full um, ideal condition it should produce about five volts and the short circuit should be around uh, the, the current should be around 300 milliamps in full short circuit so the intended light that came with it was this uh, little LED here, uh, LED light and as you can see for those who will recognize there's a little, oh let's see if I can focus, well right here I put the little DC to DC converter in there one of those um, nice and dandy one that I got from eBay for the simple reason that uh, the original light take take o o almost like almost like 10 minutes to uh, get the full brightness and even though at like summer temperature well it was uh, well it was still better than one of those little tea candle uh, light up and uh, but it wasn't enough for me I, I always want more lights and uh, the more lights the better right so here it is and I have a setup right now that I have a multimeter also uh, an ultra multimeter that, that will actually show the milliamps and I have a little piece of there we go right here and right now we're producing 3.25 volt and well zero milliamps because I'm not drawing anything and let me short circuit this just to show you I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that with one hand. But, uh, let me find something. All right, there we go. And, okay, so here I'm able to pull about 150, let's say 150 milliamps. And, of course, well, there's no voltage there. So let me hook that back to my little connector here so I can demonstrate the light. All right, so I have my little, uh, just, <clears throat> let's say, a plug extender. And I will hook up the lamp. Make sure it's off. And then hook this up. And turn it on. Voila! So this is the actual light working. And of course, there's one LED missing out of a whole bunch because I needed to remove one to be able to uh, shove that little uh, uh, DC to DC converter in there. And I'm about at uh, 900 millivolts and we're drawing about 106 milliamps. And this is the amount of light we're having. Compared to the tea candle, it's like... Which one would you prefer having you uh, having uh, <laughs> for in your tent? And for those who are curious about the light output, well, hold on a second. Let me plug it in and let's turn off the light in my basement. A uh, quick tour of the basement as well. Sorry for the shaky camera. So here it is. I only have the teapot light and of course well, a little candle in comparison on the side. And 
here we go. So for reading a book or read anything, it's actually pretty usable light. And of course we all know that camera will kind of have a tendency to lie about the, the brightness. Either they make it very bright or they make it very dim. So this is one tea candle and you can actually see, let me turn this off and yeah, this is what it produced compared to this little, uh, I think there's 17 LED in there. I'm pretty sure I could uh, remove a couple of LED and, and have the same brightness, but I like the original round shape and uh, it actually is pretty, pretty nice. And those tea candles are extremely cheap. <clears throat> They're actually cheaper than the battery. You can buy, I, I think it's like a hundred of these for under, under five dollars. And they last for about four hours. So here you go. You have about four hours of this light at almost any given temperature. And of course, the colder it is outside, well, the brighter this uh, will actually, the, the more electricity this will produce. But I have it set up so it won't go any brighter than that. The uh, DC to DC converter is set up to a perfect point that it is actually a pretty usable light to go around and not uh, burn any LED or consume too much power. And of course, well, I'll probably make this uh, battery operated or something, but it kind of defeats the purpose of uh, having a, a tea candle making your energy. So uh, there it is, an awesome product that can be found. Uh, I'll post the link below if for those who wants to uh, buy this product. And of course, this is the first version they made. So there is obviously more expensive and more powerful version. They also make a, I think it's a 10 watt uh, wood stove generator that can produce like 12 volts. And of course, a USB uh, device. And there's also the next generation, the model just after this one, you, <clears throat> you actually have a USB plug instead of this uh, little connector here. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.